Welcome to the Something Good Podcast, hosted by Renee Mueller, powered by Verly. This is where we interview top business professionals, industry insiders, operational managers, and thought leaders from around the nation. Diving into hot current topics to help you experience something good. All right. What is up? We're here with Lisa Lamont. This is our introductory podcast for KW Elite, Keller Williams. And behind the scenes, we have Eve Jacobson. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce her. And uh, I think you'll be next on the podcast. But for now, I want to start with Lisa and Lamont. So Lisa is one of our top agents. She has been with us for two years now, Lisa. Is that right? Yep. Okay. And last year, you did what for production? I think I had 47 units. You think? Mm -hmm. You had 47 units? Yes. And so what's your average sale price? Average sale price is 189 Okay. Mm -hmm. So you had a pretty good year, pretty good volume. Yes. Yes. yes so... And prior to coming to our company, what did you do? Well, I had just gotten my real estate license in Wichita, Kansas. So I was a newbie there. I had just got my license in, I think, March of 2018. Okay. Um, and I was with the Keller Williams agency there as well. So I had a really good introduc introduction, and I got to start on, I believe, the right foot in, okay. in this business. So I was just getting started there. Um, I believe I only had about eight transactions and that was from March to September. No, I think November was my last one okay. because we were not expecting to move to oh. Columbus at all. So, um, the boys and I left Wichita in at the end of September. Okay. So the boys being your husband and your three sons. Yes. Okay. So my husband actually moved up here in August and was here, was a bachelor for a whole month. And then my three sons finished up school and we moved up here at the beginning of October. Awesome. So yeah. what does your husband do? So my husband works for Great Plains State Bank, okay. and he's the CIO over there. Oh, wonderful. So. And they're right next door here in Parkway Plaza. They're right next door, so he likes to keep an eye on me. He oh. likes to see when I come in and when I roll out. And Good, good. So your best year in production, you did 8 to 10 transactions. Yeah, before okay. I moved here. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And honestly, when I moved here, I saw we were coming, you know, to a small town, to a small market, and I thought, oh, man, how, like, how – prehistoric is it going to be here what's what are the systems going to be like and things like that because again when I started in you know Keller Williams in Wichita I mean I just had the access to all the great training all the systems that are available to all of the agents mm -hmm. and just so much technology right so I really was I didn't know what to expect okay. when I moved here so as a new licensed agent in Kansas what drew you to that brand there was it the people well, and honestly, I really didn't know anything about it. Um, why my husband and I, we were thinking about listing our house, and uh, we called up. Um, we, actually, it was a Keller Williams agent that called us okay. and said, "Hey, I heard um, you know you were thinking about listing your house. You know, she must have been by. a really good agent." Yes, she came by and she did you know a listing presentation, everything like that. We ended up signing with her, and then my husband um, said, "Hey, I think my wife should be in real estate. This looks so easy and fun. What should she do?" And she actually, that listing agent ended up signing me. Really? And she was actually my team leader. Awesome. So, so. what did she say to you that made you think real estate was it for you? Well, she said um, the biggest thing was because I spoke Spanish. She oh. said, we really need that. And I had been in customer service my entire life anyway. That's so, a great background for this then. And that's what she said. She said that's a lot of what it is. It's you have to deal with people. You have to be able to handle people and, you know, be flexible with them. You're going to have your good ones. You're going to have your not so good ones and things like that. So I had, like I said, been thinking about it. And I thought, oh, I love to look at houses online. You know, Joanna Gaines. So easy. I'll just, you know, you just, it's like a store. You just open your doors and all of these customers just walk in. And that's right. So they're knocking your door down. Yes. So got started there with her, like I said, and with Keller Williams. And I was just blown away because it is a lot of information. You feel overwhelmed, but I feel. I felt Keller Williams there had systems in place to kind of help guide you through. You never felt like you were alone. You always felt like I have resources to go to. Okay. So you had a good amount of training and onboarding with that Keller Williams office in Kansas then? Yes, okay. yes, yes. How does that compare to what you thought you were going to have in Columbus and what you, what you do have when you came to Columbus? So like I said, when we finally made the move to, to come here to a smaller town, I thought, man, it's going to be going to be slow. I mean, mom and pa shop. Mom and pa shop. <laughs> I mean, how many homes can they possibly list and sell here, you know, in yep. a year? And right away, you know, people were, you know, asking me, what do you, well, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? 
and everyone kept saying, oh, you need to go to Renee. You need to go to Renee. If you're going to be in real everyone estate. Everyone said that. You need oh, to go to Renee. Good. And I'm I don't paying them well, so that's good. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember if I told you this, but I remember I was at Columbus uh, Motors getting our car service, <coughs> and he asked, the gentleman there at the service department asked, um, so what do you do? And I said, oh, I'm in real estate. And, you know, so, and he's like, oh, you need to go with Renee, you know, da, da, da. And I envisioned an older woman. <laughs> like I thought <laughs> Renee's an older name. I'm like, I'm envisioning like Thanks, an older, an older woman with big, you know, 80s hair because face it, we're in a small town. Everyone's still uh-huh. stuck in the past. Exactly. So, um, but everyone pointed me to you. So when you and I finally met, I, um, was very impressed because everything that they were now doing. Now I know why you were laughing so much the yes. first time we met. Like, this is totally not what I was expecting. Not so. at all. I thought, what is she going to possibly offer, you yeah. know? And I was very surprised because everything that they were doing in the big city, you were doing here. And I was in even more because at the Keller Williams where I was at, they didn't pay for leads, you know? Well, they mm-hmm. did. I mean, it depended what team you were on. I remember you saying that too. So. But nobody was had a system where you had paid leads coming at you and they were just – feeding them to you. And you were trained on how to take those leads. Yeah, I was, I was not yet. I was trained on, you have to fight and scrounge for every lead possible. So when I have someone that's giving them to you, I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll take them. Yeah. I'll take them. You know, I, I just couldn't imagine mm-hmm. that it was going to be, you know, that, that much that you were going to yeah. be offering. Yeah, that's phenomenal. So on that note, I think last year, we went over this at the end of 2020. Mm-hmm. So last year, even through uh, the pandemic, thankfully, our market um, stayed very strong, and yeah. we really had a, a huge and quick recovery. Um, so towards the end of March, beginning of April, we started to see that rebound already. Mm-hmm. Um, and you ended the year with, I'm sorry, what did you say? How many transactions? Uh, 47. 47. And Which was way, I think our goal was, or my goal was, my goal was 25. You pushed me to 30. Yep. And I had a horrible feeling, sick feeling in my stomach. I was like, I'm going to be a failure. You know, how am I going to do this? Because, again, I came from, I don't know anyone here. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't have any sphere of influence. Right. I don't have anything. Right. So the fact that my first year I did, I think, 20, 20 Your units. Your very first year my very you first did 21. Year here. Yep. Yeah, 21. 21. My very first yep. unit or year here I did 21 units, yep. and I was pleasantly, you know, I was like, I'll just do 12. If I can just do one unit a month, I'll be set. I mean, who wants more than that? And you pushed me. Right, right. And so I ended up with 21. And then so when you s- suggested we do 30, I saw, oh I suggested. Gosh. Oh my gosh. So, so when I see potential in someone, yes, I go after that. And I want them to have that same mindset and understanding that, that it is real. It's possible. And it does not take me long, usually in the first few minutes. And I'll tell, uh, I told the month this too, when we visited, I can tell if an agent has that passion, has that drive and has that potential. And I saw that in you right away, even though you kept saying, Renee, I'm going to be part time. I, I have kids at home and uh, I know no one in this community. All of yeah. those, um, all those uh, frames of mind that you had that were leading you to be a little more negative, you know, and how do I overcome this? And, you know, I'm bilingual. How much really potential could there be for the bilingual market in Columbus? So, yes. uh, so going back to the lead system that we have, the broker paid leads that we have coming in, we honestly have more leads and we have agents working them. And this is where Lamont's going to come in. And I'm excited about that um, and making his announcement. But you had, I believe, close to 50,000 in take-home pay, gross income last year from those leads, correct? Yeah, so I did my homework and I did my... Not telling everyone what you make, but... Yeah. I did my homework and I did my buckets of success, Yep. you know, and you, I went through last year and I traced where all of my leads came from and found out, like, because ideally, you know, you want your sphere of influence, your prospecting, and your internet referrals, and as you get more and more established, you want the internet referrals to kind of cut down and you want your sphere of influence to fill that bucket. Right. And I thought, oh, I'm, you know, I did get a lot, I thought, in my opinion, a lot of client referrals already last year. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, oh, I'm sure that's got to be, you know, pretty much a huge percentage. And it was, it was a good percentage. However, my majority came from internet leads still, and it was uh, Boomtown. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that story because like I've told Lamont and the other agents I've visited with over the last few weeks even, we have a high number of people looking into this profession because it looks so easy, especially mm-hmm. when we have such a heavy seller's market. You know, everybody wants to be involved, be in it. You know, the houses are selling themselves, so it looks really easy. Um, but I do pride myself on, uh, myself on the fact that we have all the training for the agents here, um, and we have those leads that are coming in, which no other company, at least here in the Columbus market, has that. And, and not only having that come in, but showing the agents how exactly to work those leads, the dialogue to have, yep. mm-hmm. um, is very important. And so I love that it gives the new agents um, that extra layer of success and, and a foundation for maybe making it through the first two or three or four years. Um, and, and we even have agents that have been 
going for almost five years that will be taking those leads still. Uh-huh. So it just gives them a great foundation to be able to get to that point where they have that sphere coming. Because so oftentimes you see where you're just throwing a chair and a, a book of, you know, maybe contacts and, you know, here's some expired listings and good luck, you know, go after it. Yeah. But mm-hmm. we provide them with that fa- foundation of, you know, let's get them to that second and third year where they have that sphere coming in. Absolutely. So, so we'll see what this next year brings for you. And then we talked mm-hmm. about the fact that you're bilingual. So just over 25% of all of our closed transactions as a company last year was to Spanish-speaking individuals. So that's pretty big. Yeah. So if you can mm-hmm. track that and see, you know, what percentage of your business was Spanish-speaking as well, even those leads coming in. Um, you know, I think that's probably uh, the, the other key or the other component to your success. So, yeah, I think I ha- I have not tracked that, but I think just off the top of my head, I would say probably about 85% of my business is all Spanish, Spanish speaking customers, mm-hmm. you know, and th- that kind of is what my, I guess you can say your, my niche is because I just like to try to provide that, uh, that level of comfort for those who feel like I'm handling something that, you know, is part of my, you know, your American dream. Yep. But I don't know what to do. I don't understand it. And I just like to try to step in and provide, like I said, just that, that level of comfort for them to say, this is what's going on. It is a big deal, but I want you to understand it fully. So That's awesome. So, mm-hmm. And on the note of um, family success and why you came here, then how does your husband feel about all your success. And he, he's counting the days till he can retire. That's I think awesome. hilarious. <laughs> I think it's a little. Yeah. He's at the bank counting his money. It's a little premature, I say. But mm-hmm. um, no, he's he he has no problem with his wife being the the breadwinner. He has no problem with he 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 Sorry, being Luke. the stay at home dad. Mm-hmm. Dad. So he <laughs> would love to 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 do that. So no, he's incredibly thrilled um, for the opportunity and the, the move because we did leave a lot behind, you know, all of our family, all of our friends, you know, your routine, everything that you know. And, um, but we can't complain, you know, okay. it may be all the snow and the cold. That's ba- no. basically the only thing that really <laughs> we can put complain about, but you know, luckily everything has been really great. Okay. So I'm glad our group mm-hmm. would not know what to do without you. And I'm glad you guys have made such a great transition into the community. And, mm-hmm. and we'll talk, um, going into the next few, um, episodes that we have too, as far as what you, love to do what your passion is, what your why is, um, Mm -hmm. some of the organizations that you're involved with, like Habitat, um, Mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit more. So we do have some really good opportunities for our agents. Uh, Besides the fact that we have lead gen, we also have a coaching and training program. And so we're going to have you introduce Lamont, who is a newer agent, been with us for two months now, maybe? Not even that? January 2nd. Okay. It was the... January 2nd was the first push official day, so. Okay, awesome. And you've already sold your first home. Yep, uh, just got it under contract last Wednesday, I believe. So, um, and you had kind of talked about the the Boomtown lead generation, and that's where that lead came from. So, it was somebody that was on the website months ago, just kind of fell through the cracks, not real interested and seeing that they had become active again, so I just reached out and they requested a showing and Mm -hmm. things just kind of progressed from there so i love hearing those success stories so so boomtown is our platform of course our crm uh we have lead gen that comes in through that crm through um, google adwords through facebook through pay-per-click through uh, some of the commercial sites that we have much of it we've gotten into but but not 100 percent of it so um, everything feeds into that through an API. And so when you talk about Boomtown, that's the platform we're using to keep track of all those leads that come in. Correct. Okay. And so Lisa is your shadow agent. So she's the one training you, onboarding yep. you. Lisa, How's that been? It, you know what? Uh, I joke around and Lisa will probably <laughs> kill me for this. So I, I have Lisa labeled in my phone as Lisa Boss Woman. <laughs> so, I love it. Um, but it's uh, it's been great. I mean, she's been more than willing to answer any questions any time of the day that I've, I've called or sent her a text. Um, she's reached out to me right away. Her husband, Luke, was actually in the office last Thursday, I think it was, and I was here and working on some things. And I, I apologize to Luke. I'm like, hey, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I get it when she's home. It's supposed to be her time. And he's like, you know what? No and he goes, I, I think it's great that uh, you're doing this and he's like she's willing to do it and I mean she does her thing and so it but it's been great so rather than the agents being super cutthroat and wanting to smother you it's been them encouraging you oh absolutely every, every step of the way and you know it's kind of funny because even though we are in the same office we're still competition mm-hmm. we're we're still fighting yep. for 
the to make the sale to for the clients, but everybody so far, and yes, Lisa is my training agent, so I go to her primarily, but if Lisa's not around or I don't feel like I don't want to bother her for this simple task, then you know, Darlene or Trent or Shay, they've they've all just they're haven't had anybody say, you know what, call Lisa. Get out of here. Um, yeah. They're, that's awesome. They just jump in and you speak Spanish, answer. Yeah. I do not speak Spanish. <laughs> but you know say it uh and that part has been it's been interesting for me just to there is a, a huge need for agents that do speak Spanish in right. Columbus. And yeah. it's great that we have Lisa and we also have Perla that I mean Jessica coming on board. Yep, so, and Jessica yeah. coming on board that we have that right here at KW is we can provide that service. Agreed, yeah. So when I met you, Lamont, I was, first of all, I was surprised that you wanted to get into the business. But second of all, I was surprised that I hadn't reached out to you and, and seen that uh, previously because every indication was that you would be a huge success. I mean, you had the great attitude. You were involved in the community. Your sister works here, which we haven't even mentioned yet. But mm-hmm. so, so what was it that drew you to real estate, really? You know, real estate and me, I guess, it's the people. Um, every job that I've ever had, I've worked with people and in some way, shape or form, uh, whether it's in a retail setting or just customer service, but it's always being able to help people in, in one way, shape or form. So when, when the opportunity for real estate came up, it, it's just an extension of that. Um, just being able to help people. And now it just moves to something bigger instead of, breads and donuts or groceries <laughs> now we're talking about houses so in that part I mean, it's it's been a learning curve for me because it is not like it's perceived out there you know everybody's like oh yeah it's so easy to sell houses right now well there there is a lot more that goes into selling houses than just putting a sign in the yard and taking offers and yep. that's it yep. um so that that part last week i've really started to learn some of the what it does take and what goes into it and so it's been great but being able to help people on that side of like Lisa said the American dream is you know to own a house and some multiple houses and to be able to help with that part so yeah all people for me phenomenal good so one of the key components to being successful in this industry is being a servant Um, Even as a leader you have to be a servant leader uh, want to make others happy and and help them to achieve their success. And so you started at a young age working at hy in case people yep. didn't get the whole note about donuts and bread. Um, but you started young and you were devoted. I mean, you were very loyal. Uh, and it seems like that's been pretty indicative of you know, pretty much your whole adulthood, right? Yep. I very few jobs. Um, I, I did leave hy one time. and uh, But it's always been not so much about what's in it for Lamont, but I get more satisfaction out of helping people and being part of something bigger than Lamont. So that's awesome. Good. Yep. That that means you're a great team player as well. So um, on that note, what coming on board to KW have you been doing as far as training besides shadowing Lisa? Um, what sort of classes have you taken, or you know, are you listening to podcasts, reading books, is there coaching training? Uh, there, there is. So. Right now, just one part of the, the training that I do have, uh, I meet with Clayton uh, via Zoom once a week and for an hour, and we do dialogue training. So just working with me on not how to talk to people, but how to smoothly transition in our conversation so that it's not so choppy and that I'm able to, to gather the information that I need to be able to take care of the client. So that is part of it, um, doing rookie training. Just it's amazing on what the training that is available through KW. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you wanted to, you could train seven days a week, all day long. Yep. So, and it is huge for, especially somebody as a new agent that has never come from uh, a real estate background, knew very little. Um, if you want to, you can find every answer possible. And so, yeah, I mean, that, diving into that, I did some Boomtown training, um, four different sessions with that to to learn the Boomtown system, how to make it effective so that when we do have people that register on it, that I can get the information that they are looking for. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to 
jump all over the place and then give bad information. So right. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so our hope is that you will be our full-time ISA, which would be our inside sales agent, meaning you would handle all those leads that come in, the lead flow from every source that we have, which there's about a hundred sites um, and managing those clients to be sure that they're taken care of, followed up with and helping the agents through that process too, especially the new ones that are starting. So we'll see how that process goes. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, just in the, the little that I have been in doing some of this, it's kind of, it, it's almost sad a little bit that we have had some people fall through the cracks, have been reaching out to people that have registered on our site maybe 50, 60, 70 days ago. And uh, some of them have decided not to buy or some of them are renting and locked into contracts because they just didn't have anybody that was able to reach out to them. Right. And so there I, I feel like I let them down or we let them down on, on helping them reach that dream. So. Yep. Yep, I agree. I've been there several times through pretty much every phase of this career. I mean, I've been in real estate for 20 years, um, and, and I am a people person by nature. So, and you guys both took the DISC assessment before you started, so I know where you where you guys fall on that, but I'm a 90-90, 99-I. So, um, yes, I like to take charge and lead the way for many things, but I'm also a big people person, big people pleaser. So it's hard for me to see that, too, and that's where looking at what do we need the most, how do we fill these positions, uh, we have so many opportunities within – Keller Williams within KW Elite um, specifically. And so uh, for the agents that are coming on board with the leads that we just talked about, the lead gen mm -hmm. system that we have, uh, the mm -hmm. experienced agents all have the opportunity to coach if they want to coach the new agents coming in and, and they receive um, uh, incentives for that as well. Um, recruiting, onboarding, um, even the admin here and working into what um, one of my biggest goals is, is that you know we help the agents understand the next level of real estate, you know, do they want to invest? Do they want to help develop? Do they want to help grow Columbus? And I know, Lisa, you've talked recently about your, you and your husband's conversations with regard to investing in more rentals, you know, real mm -hmm. estate. Um, I have a syndication and we'll open that up to some of the agents here too, to be able to invest in that. Um, so I, I do pride myself on helping everyone here, even admin, you know, not just sit behind a desk and, and just do that one thing, you know, concentrating on, yes, real estate being that one thing, but what else is there? There's so many components to it. You know, what are the opportunities and what else can you guys be doing to live your best life? Whatever it is that you want to do. So, um, so Lamont, do you want to get into anything further? Do you have any oh, aspirations for that? I mean, always looking for, I mean, what's next? Yep. Um, you know, it's probably been a couple of weeks ago at the supper table, uh, my daughter, was joking around with my wife and said, "Hey, Dad's gonna go be a firefighter." And and every my day, wife, and, my, <laughs> and my wife is like, "Well, yeah, she's like, ah, we can't do that." And I'm like, "Why not?" I mean, why can't you? Yeah. So, um, I think when you strive to better yourself, for regardless of whatever it is, but I mean, I don't think you can put a limit on what you can do. Um, right. It's it's all how how much you want to stretch and stretch yourself a little bit and make uncomfortable. yourself uncomfortable. Yep. That's exactly um, right. I love that you're teaching your kids that too. And that's always my philosophy. You know, think bigger. I mean, yeah. My whole life I was told you're not going to do this and you can't do that and you'll never be this. And, and then, you know, you finally achieve certain things and then maybe because you're in a smaller community, then you hear from the community members, you know, the same thing. Well, we don't do that here. We've always done it this way. Right. You know, I mean, we're living proof that you can do whatever you want. Absolutely. You know, if I coming from my background can do what I've done, then anyone certainly can do the same and greater things. So, um, coming into the next few episodes, we're going to introduce the other agents that are here in our office as well, give them a chance to have their own sort of uh, limelight. So you guys be thinking about some of the people you want to introduce. My hope is that we have an abundance of community members, business owners, you know, anyone who wants to spread the word on what they're doing in the community, come into this podcast station and be able to share that. This is going to make it a whole heck of a lot easier. I know no one else, at least here locally, who is doing something like this. And so I love, again, to just lead the way and, and uh, be the one that's, you know, guiding people on, on the new path. Um, so anything else that you guys want to add with regard to the podcast, what your hope is for the future, what you're planning on for 2021, or anything that you want the public to know? One of the things that it's talked about all the time is it, what does Renee do? And I know that us as agents, we, we all know and, and we all appreciate it. And I'm sure every staff or anybody in this building knows that, I mean, you can drive by and the back corner light is probably on 99% of the time. And it's not Renee just sitting up there getting rich, I would say, over just over the weekend. I think 
probably five times I got an email or I got a podcast or <laughs> or something sent to me. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's a big misconception out there. But Renee is does everything she possibly can to make us better as agents and give us all the tools to become successful so that we can take care of the town of Columbus and surrounding. Yeah, I agree. So. Yeah, I appreciate that greatly, Lamont. I, I could not do what I do without you guys, and it goes it goes back to the old adage, you know, you, you get what you want by giving enough to others of what they want, and that is so true over the years. You know, you, you have uh, the wrong mindset, um, and that is definitely going to be what, what impedes you or what holds you up from getting those, those goals and getting on to the next step. And no, I am not sitting here, you know, lining my pockets. In fact, it's probably could not be further from the truth, to be honest with you. But I love watching others grow. And my hope was not to be sitting up in some sort of castle, being the one competing with the agents. It was showing them exactly how to do it, how to be successful. And it honestly brings tears to my eyes almost every time I think about some of the stories that I've heard with the agents in this office who've come to me and said, I can't believe, you know, I wanted only to be part-time and now I'm, you know, I'm sugar mama. Um, or, you know, I've had agents tell me I yeah, paid off my kids' student loans and I could not have done that without your direction. And I love that, you know, and I love also that the agents in this office have such a passion and want to be involved in the community and really help others in the community as well, whether that be donating their time or monetary assets or, you know, I can say a lot of the projects that have been completed in Columbus have been attributed to the agents in this office helping with those. So I love that, you know, we'll all leave a mark. So good. Awesome. All right. Well, you guys, I appreciate your time today and uh, let's roll on. I don't know. Um, (laughs) No, I think you guys said everything pretty well. I mean, I I think I will um, touch back on the fact when you said, you know, you'll give me a call, you give me a text or anything like that and I'll respond and Honestly, it's just because, you know, Renee leads, you know, by example. So I, anytime I had a, you know, a question or a freak out or anything, you know, I'm texting or calling Renee and she's always answered and she's always gotten back. And I'm always thinking, how does she do this? I know she's so crazy busy, but she makes time for, for, for us. And we definitely feel that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 